Sometimes people confuse them with kudu. Sometimes people confuse them with bushbuck. And in terms of both looks and niche, in terms of what they eat and how they move and what they do and how they look, they actually fit perfectly between those two. This could almost be a big bushbuck or almost be a small kudu. He's called a nyala. N-Y-A-L-A. And this is a beautiful male, a really male in his prime. Look at all that coloration, all the hair on his neck and his back. They're not very heavy antelope. They're quite sleek. You know, they're designed to live in thick bush. Mm, look at that face. Beautiful markings. Eh? The white spots, those white marks in front of the eyes, which actually has a practical purpose as well. But even the ears, all those things are visual cues. Maybe a leopard is busy stalking it and suddenly it's looking that way. The leopard's going to go, uh-oh, I've been seen. But those white marks in front of the face, they also help to reflect a little bit of light into the eyes. So these antelope are browsers. You can see there it's busy eating leaves. What's it eating? It looks like a, it's called a Zizifus macronata. Blankblar wachebikie, and I'll remember the English name just now. It is a, my machis, I forgot. I'll remember it now. Zizifus macronata is the scientific name for it. Buffalo thorn, how can I forget that? It's one of my favorite trees as well. But being a browser, they live in thick bush, and those white sort of spectacles in front of the eyes help to reflect a little bit of extra light into the eyes, just giving them a slight edge in shadows or in evening time to just see that little bit better, perhaps, in low light. I'm just going to wait here for him. I think he's going to walk across the front here. suddenly heard something. He's really looking as well. What is he? What is he aware of? He doesn't look concerned, but he's certainly paying a bit of attention. So this is not... I just love the way they move. You'll see they look so poised, perfectly balanced, quiet, don't make much of a sound. certainly aware of something, just the very way he's carrying himself. He doesn't look alarmed, it's more just aware, I think is the best word I can think of. Well guys, we're gonna keep looking at this guy. As I said, he's definitely looking at something, but it looks like something small, maybe in the grass there. If it is something interesting, if something happens, Let's just give this a second. So Aiden's just found something, but I'm going to go to him shortly. But this is getting more and more curious for me. I just want to see what this is about. He's very alert now. Look at that posture. Get out the way there. But he really is propped up now. It might be a, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it could be a snake. It could be one of those, the irrelevant five or the ridiculous five. It could be a bush. But it could be a leopard as well. I mean, it could be anything. So I don't want to. Let's see what this is about. He's approaching very slowly. You can see very carefully, looking, look at the ears, pointed all the way forward, really focused in on that sound, whatever it is that he's aware of. What is it? You don't see anything, Brian. You're sitting a little bit higher up than we are. No. He's see. smelling. Look at his nostrils are flaring. relaxed a little bit. He was very, very, very weary at one stage, but now he's just relaxed a little bit, just looking at his body posture, the ears, you can see twisting, listening different directions again. And this is where one can be so tempted to just go closer and have a look, but I don't want to disturb him for now, but he's suddenly relaxed. Maybe he's seen that it's just something not as important as he thought it might be. Maybe he saw a little tuft of white and thought maybe it's the tail of a leopard. 
then he got close and he saw, no, it's just an old bone or something like that. I don't know. He's chewing again. The ears are listening in different directions. The body posture is relaxed. So nothing too serious. <laughs>